All right, hey guys, here we are, hole number six. We're going to take another look at this. And with the POC 6, I would imagine this hole is going to be very straightforward and easy. Um, we're going to try to do this without curl, if at all possible, because what that will allow us to do is do this precise time and time again. Every time we play this hole, we'll be able to do this precisely without having to worry about, you know, is my curl adding a little bit of extra power? How much is it going to run out? Um, what we're going to try to do is try to control our top spin and, um, you know, set it up with a no curl approach so we can get to a consistent part of the fairway each and every time. So that's more or less what we're shooting for here. Well, first off, I'm on the wrong club. So we are going to club up. And I'm thinking something very close to max Epoch 5. You know, five and a half on the top spin, somewhere similar to that and as i mentioned you know you can see i'm about one ring from the edge here and we'll just be very careful with our ring pull making sure that it's kind of as straight as possible making sure that we're not adding any additional power or anything almost six rings here very close six ring adjustment for a seven mile per hour wind. Ah, I call it a great ball, but I think it's gonna affect me less with the Epoch 6 than it would have otherwise. So again, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get this to control the amount that it runs out. So time and time again, where we can just replicate that shot and we can see that our starting point, we can see exactly where our starting point is. Now, what I was gonna try to do Let's try to get this a little bit more aggressively. You know, one of the things that, you know, you may want to do to just be on the safe side, I was going to try to think about doing a rough bump here now because you already saw the way that I set it up this way. Now, granted, my initial shot, if you saw it, wasn't perfect. But what I would recommend is not even touching this spin. You shouldn't even need it if you get your drive up like my opponent. So if you were going to play it like my opponent, one of the best things that I could recommend is not even touching that spin and just playing the ball guide through the pin and then playing your ring adjustment. You'll typically find that at max club, you might only need to go max minus 10 or max minus five for a ring adjustment. And here you can see it comes up just a little bit short. So one of the biggest mistakes you'll see is guys over correcting here. <clears throat> So you can see it looks like we did just keep this into range, but not by much. So what I'll typically do here, probably pretty close, can just max top spin on a Sniper 10. And very similarly to what I mentioned, um, you know, we're going to have to probably go just a hair under true max here. So you'll see with what I'm doing with my alignment here, kind of somewhere in here. And as I mentioned, um, what is that? 8.7, 8.8, I'm thinking. 8.8 .8 for a 9.1. Perfect ball. Uh, and it looks like it is. Oh. <laughs> So just start, change your starting position, mean just a little bit more through the hole and long. Um, or similarly, I almost could have just went one to one per ring there and that was in. So um, because of the fact that the wind is pointed so much in the face might require just a little bit more adjustment. Um, so maybe a one to one there would have actually just been enough to get that to curl into the cup. But you can see how straightforward and easy that is if you can get that initial tee shot out to that same consistent spot it'll be very very holdable good chance for you to make it so good luck with that one i'll catch you guys on the next one